Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. Today we're making a new friend, kind of an older friend. We've met each other before and I've been very impressed with you and your rig. So we're going to meet Marie. Welcome Marie. Thank you. Glad to be here. And uh, I just, I do love your, your little Transit Connect here. You've just done a fantastic job with it. Uh, are you uh, full-time on the road? I'm part-time. Part -time? I'm part-timer. I still have my sticks and bricks. I like my gardening. Yes. So uh, I, I like to go back every now and then, but uh, I, I love camping. I've always camped my whole entire life and like being out on the road and, and retired. I've since retired. So, um, yeah. Yeah, and I, you know, I'm afraid I give the impression sometimes it's all or nothing, and it isn't. No. You found a great balance for you. Very happy medium. Yes, yeah. so absolutely. You, you get all the joy of being on the road and all the joy of gardening and watching, you know, being in one place. Yep. That's so true. that's great. Yeah. That's great. So uh, have you always kind of enjoyed traveling? Yes. In fact, um, I uh, was a history teacher for uh, quite a few years and uh, I taught world history. So when I was younger, I made sure to save up enough money to go travel around the world. So I've been to six of the seven continents. Oh, why? Yeah. I didn't want to wait till I was retired to go. I wanted to see things while I was still young and healthy enough to do it. Uh, so now you're retired. I am retired. And uh, this is just a, a source of joy for you. This is just my fun. This is my my dream, my fun, and I'm I'm just meeting some wonderful people. I thought I would be doing this all by myself, but every place I've gone, I've always met up with somebody. We exchange phone numbers. We stay in touch. The women's RTR has been very beneficial. That's where I met a lot of these ladies, and that's where I met Dee. And so uh, we've all just stayed in contact, and I don't know if I'll ever have to travel by myself anymore, to be honest with you. My first thought would be, well, why didn't you get a big RV and be really nice and comfortable? In fact, you chose one of the tiniest vehicles you possibly could have. Yeah. Uh, you know, this has been a work in progress for about three years. And at first I was going to get a bigger one. I was going to get one that I could stand in. Mm -hmm. But um, a number of reasons I didn't buy that one was gas mileage. Right. And also I didn't want to invest in something that pricey and do a build when I didn't even know if I would like doing this. So I started off small where I uh, actually camped in the back of me, my SUV. And um, I thought if that would stick, then eventually I would go with something bigger. So I was looking at those bigger ones, but they had um, rear wheel drive and I didn't want that. Um, gas mileage was an issue and it, it was price. And these are were definitely within my price range and um, they've got great gas mileage and it's perfect. I mean, I, I really wouldn't want anything bigger. Now I'm not living in it full time. Right. If I were full time, I might want something bigger. Right. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I know a number of people who live in the transit uh, full time and they're very happy with it. Yeah, I've seen a few of the videos and I'm amazed. Yeah. How, how long are you out at a time? Uh, so far, since I've had this van, I've only been out for about two weeks at a time. But that's because it's been really uh, windy and cold in the right. desert and a lot of dust. And so I've gone back home. But this time I plan on being out for about six weeks. And I'm going to make my way to Colorado and see my two kids while I'm there. Hi, Kelsey. Hi, Kai. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, they're in both in Denver area. And so I'll just meander my way on over there and go stay with them for Mother's Day. And then meander my way home. Great. So yeah. this will be my long journey. Right. Yeah. And uh, summer's coming up. And now you can take uh, some of your summers and really see some of the really pretty places, too. Right. Exactly. And so uh, one of the things you did was you started with what you had. You had an SUV. Right. So you started with an SUV. Mm -hmm. And rather than move, make the huge step up to a, a full-size transit, you went in between. Has that worked well for you, that kind of moving up? Absolutely. You've got to have patience because sometimes you come full circle. I originally was thinking about these, and then I thought, no, I want something bigger. And then I thought, well, maybe I want a trailer. Or, you know, you go through that whole process, right. and then you have to really think, What's in your personality, what would you be comfortable driving rather than what you think would be ideal? I don't know if that makes sense, but but I'm very comfortable with this, and this has turned into my ideal right. when I didn't think it was going to. This is 100% exactly the way I wanted it, but it took years to figure out that. Right, and that's exactly my advice to everyone, is to start with the absolute minimum mm -hmm. uh, and, and ease into it and learn what works for you. Absolutely, yeah. You know, all these videos you watch, that works for them, but you're not them. Right. You need to know what works for you. Right. you got to trust yourself. And you got it. I got it. Yeah. I do. That's fantastic. <laughs> well, would it be okay if we took a look around inside? Uh, absolutely. Let's yes. Do it. It'll take a, quite a while, but have you got a couple hours to show us everything? Absolutely. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we'll take a look inside, folks. 
Come on over. All righty. Um, this is my bed, and uh, it's got a four-inch cushion right here, and I did sew the cover of it. Um, the bed is uh, right here on slats. Oh, yeah. Very good. And pulls so right it down. pulls out, and I have about a twin bed, and it's very comfortable. So that has been a good night's sleep. And then underneath down here, I have storage. That's my garage. That's where I keep things like clamps and bungee cords and um, fire starters and so forth. And then I also have uh, my propane down here as well. You're using green bottles. I am using the green bottles. And then I made my own little fire starters. I don't know if anybody saw this on, but what these are, toilet paper rolls. And uh, you put lint in them and then cover them with... Um, newspaper and then I've got a bunch of them and they, they start the fire for me that's what they look like yeah but uh, so a little bit of yeah work. I guess lint just really uh, really catches fire and lights and runs for absolutely a yeah absolutely and so we might as well get the the elephant in the room uh, talked about <laughs> uh, this is a collapsible potty right here and uh, trust me, ladies, if any of you have any hesitation, don't, because I never thought I would be able to do this, but uh, I, I am doing it. And this is a collapsible uh, stool. And there's nothing really that you're gonna have to see, but I've got baggies on the inside and you just sit on it. And I put kitty litter, kitty litter in there to absorb any kind of odor or anything else. But this is only for number two, only for number two. Right. And, uh, and then when you put the lid on it, uh, it does not smell. But somebody just recently told me that horse pellets are really good because you can actually use them for liquid as well. And then they just expand to sawdust and they've got a really nice pine smell and you can get them at Tractor Supply. And they're just like this and you can buy them. Apparently it's only $7 for a 40 pound bag. Oh my goodness. I know. And you just put them in there and apparently you can do number one and number two in here and it doesn't smell and it doesn't get sloshy. So I'm gonna have to try that out. Yeah. I did uh, have somebody build this for me. And um, this is an acrylic top and I've got a little sink. Um, underneath, I do have a six gallon freshwater tank. And nice. then I also have some kitty litter right here. And uh, back in the back, I don't know if you can see it, but um, in the back, I have my two and a half gallon um, gray water tank. Mm -hmm. But what I like also is that um, a lot of people want to get the, the pumps that are either using their foot or electric, but this is USB powered. Oh, uh -huh. So it's got a cord and it, it, it connects to the USB port over there. But what I like about this one is you can just press it if you want to, or you can do a continuous stream. Nice. And it doesn't make a lot of noise no. and it works perfect. It's been a game changer for me. So um, I did have shelving built rather than cabinets. Um, this is my food shelf. Um, I have all my dry goods here, my canned goods, um, uh, things like that, spaghetti, noodles, and so forth. And um, I did not want it to be fully enclosed because with being such a small space, uh, I was worried I wouldn't be able to see in the back. And this way I just put them in the bin and they stay secure. Um, the other one is my toiletries, and so they're accessible at nighttime when I want to, um, you know, brush my teeth and and so forth. The stuff you're using on a, on a very regular basis. Exactly, right exactly, right, right there. So um, the shelving has actually worked really well. Nothing moves as long as you've got them in containers. I did put um, stainless steel on the bottom because magnets oh, are nice. my best friend. You bet. Um, I've Love got magnets. a light here. Whoops, now the a light here that's magnetic and uh, it switches on and off. And that's battery powered. Um, I do have solar powered lights right there so that I know not to trip over. Those are inexpensive. They're about a dollar at Walmart. Yep. I don't know how long they're gonna last, but at least I don't trip over it. And then um, I do have um, a fridge. This is a, a Joy Tutus. I think you did a review I on did. that. Yeah, it, I'd already bought it. <laughs> it's been great so far. It has. And it's a 26, uh, is it gallon? I think gallon or uh, quart? quart? Quart. 26 quart. And uh, it's exactly just, what I am. it's working perfectly fine. I did have a, a storage unit built underneath and that's where what my solar power. idea. I know. because it's, it's nice because I can put my coffee on it in the morning if yeah. I want to. I do have... Nice. I know. That is real nice. <laughs> and you can get these. Um, this is actually something I 
got at Home Depot, and it's for broom closets. And so I can just put my pole right there, and then I bring it up, put it under here. I've got myself a table. Go. Couldn't be any easier. Yeah, exactly. So I'm quite pleased with that. I do have storage underneath here. Ladies, I'm a shoe person, so I've got all my shoes. I probably bought way more shoes than anybody could ever use, but I do have shoes in here. Um, so that's my shoes. And then back here, this is where I have my, my laptop, my mm -hmm. little lights, my twinkling lights, and mm -hmm. my Lucy Lou's, and um, screens from a window screens for my uh, windows. And these little plastic drawers are really good too, because oh, I have yeah. my wipes in this one. Um, and then I have quarters for showers and, you know, some plastic liners. These are biodegradable. Uh, I have, here's my coffee. You might ask, why don't I put it with the rest of the supplies? But actually, this is, when the bed comes out, this is right here and it's very accessible. So I put my coffee supplies. And then these are my, my gadgets. I really love the color. I mean, I you've, you've Doesn't made it make it you happy? Yeah, it's yes. like it makes you happy. I did. I saw. I bought this at Walmart. I'm going to be plugging Walmart again because I'm yep. telling you their prices were amazing. But I bought this fabric. I knew what I was looking for, but I didn't know where it was. I was going to find it. And then I bought this, and I've even got enough left over to do a whole nother set if I need to. I bought too much, but um, these pillows actually hold my uh, blankets. Sure. So I've got blankets in there. My clothing is stored up there in uh, containers in those cubes. And so this is um, one of the great things about the connect is all that overhead storage. Right. And we we um, put in a, a board here mm -hmm. to connect it from um, the natural shelf that it has right there that you can store. Oh, I things. see. Yeah, it's got a little natural shelf. I do have a Dokio. Oh, uh -huh. um, not only do I have a hundred watt panel up at the top, but I do have a Dokio as well. Um, again, I bought this before you had reviewed it, so it made it nice to know that you gave it kind of a thumbs up. But this is a 100 watt uh, panel as well. Right. So if I were to park in the shade, I can use this. And I've got a, I bought a long cord to make sure that I mm -hmm. had plenty of space to. Okay, so right down here, I have things in drawers. Uh, these are my spices, and I've got you know some um, matches and some foil and so forth, and some bowls. So I have that there. I have my uh, utensils in this drawer right there. And then I do have a bucket, a collapsible bucket. And I use this to bathe in and also to wash my feet uh, or wash my dishes in as well. So I have those. And with that, even though I know the lithium are better, uh, but I, I wanted to start off with something inexpensive. And I think mm -hmm. for the price of this, I could probably buy four of them yep. uh, instead of a lithium battery. Although this is 75 pounds, so. Um, yes. You know, you do have the weight. That's but one of the, you know, there's the trade off. I do have um, an isolator that will charge the battery when I'm driving. Right. And uh, I also have, I keep wanting to call it an adapter, but I know it's not called that. It's an inverter, an inverter underneath mm -hmm. the seat, uh, 1500 watt inverter underneath. So you uh, you set up a, a really nice outside camp. Yeah, I try to be outside as much as possible. Only when the weather's bad do I want to go inside. But all my cooking takes place outside. And um, and then uh, that way there's no smell or anything. And, um, and I also have that water jug as well. And that heats up the water uh, for bathing and washing and so forth. But uh, And that's where I can wash my hands outside rather than go inside all the time. Anything else we want to haven't covered? Uh, I just want to say to any of those ladies out there that are afraid to do this, do it. If not now, when? And um, I just turned 60, so, and I'm a retired teacher, and I'm out there having fun meeting other people. And it's enlightening. It's empowering. It's, it's just an amazing feeling. So if you feel you can't do it, watch the YouTube videos, because you'd be amazed at how many women are out there doing it. And start out small see if you like it, and then work your way up and be patient and be patient with yourself. Excellent advice. That's good advice for men and women too. Absolutely. There are a lot of men out there who needed to hear that. Yeah, but women tend to be more fearful yes. and they're afraid when they go out that, you know, the scary world out there. But out here, I feel very safe. Right. More so than maybe a city. Yeah, and so I didn't specifically ask, but, uh, you do feel safe. I do feel safe. And what's nice is that, and this is why I don't have a trailer, because I can pop from my bed into the driver's seat and leave immediately if I need to. I can lock the doors. And so, yes, I feel safe. But I will say, you got to use this first. Right. Before you use any kind of 
weapons or anything that you might have to protect yourself, use this first and only camp in places that you feel comfortable in and you see other people around you. Um, go with your senses and right. that, that usually works for me. Well, Marie, thank you so much for sharing your, your home and your life with us and proving that it's, it's not all or nothing. No, it's not all or nothing. No, you don't have to have the big, big van to get started. Right. Start out small, see if you like it right. and you work your way up. Keep a home base and, and that security and that finger and your thumb in the soil. Yep. And uh, satisfy those itchy feet as well. Absolutely. The little nomad in you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, definitely. It's my pleasure. Thank you. So, folks, I hope you've been inspired and, and educated, and I know you have been. If so, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later. <laughs> Bye.